Hi friends, Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. And today what we're going to do is we, I'm going to show you an activity that I have, a new one, that we are going to be using for introducing and teaching subtraction. So with this activity, we are using our touch points to teach subtraction. All right, so this activity is called uh, Touch Point Subtraction. It has a zoo theme to it. There are cards that look like this. We've got giraffe, monkey, penguin, an elephant. So we have some um, zoo animal cards here. And then we have a handful of our touch point cards here as well. If you have never seen how to teach touch point math, I will leave a link below to a different video that I have where I um, show you how I teach touch point math or kind of how we do it. So um, yeah, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to that. Okay, so for this activity center, um, what we're going to do is the kids have a map that looks like this and it has a subtraction sentence and they are going to take one of their cards and place it on this empty square right here on their map. Okay, so um, each of the pictures, the animals are holding a different, you know, food item. So you got the bananas for the monkey and you got the fish for the penguin, you got the peanuts for the elephant, and you got the leaves for the giraffe. So what they're gonna do is first they're gonna count how many they have. So this giraffe has one, two, three, four, five, six leaves. And then they're going to use their touch point cards and find the number six. So here's my number six, and I'm gonna place that in the first spot on my map. Then we're going to take away two. Um, so we're gonna subtract two, so we're gonna, and the way they get that subtraction number is in the corner of the card. So we're going to find our number two card and place that on the map. Now, with touch point subtraction, we teach the children that we count backwards. So with touch point addition, we count forward because we're adding, but with touch point subtraction, we count backwards because we're subtracting. And the nice part about having the touch points there is they can touch them as they subtract. So we know we're starting with six, and then we're going to count backwards, and we're going to touch our touch points as we count backwards. So we say six, five, four. So our answer is four, and then they would place their answer card on the map. Another thing you can do to make it a little bit more interactive for the kids, um, especially those kids who need um, something to do, <laughs> and it gets them more involved in their math, is to um, give them some manipulatives. So I have a few examples I'm gonna show you today. So one example here I have are these little planter gems. I got these from the dollar store and they just um, come in a big pack for a dollar. These are little pom-poms that I attached magnets to. We use them for a lot of things if you've seen my other videos. These are counting bears, we like to use those. And then I ended up putting our little mini erasers into a container so they're all kind of organized. And we like to use mini erasers as well. Okay, so let me show you how that would work then. So if you're doing the subtraction, you would start with six, and then you would count back two, but as you're counting back, instead of just touching, you would place a manipulative onto the point. So you say six, five, four, and then your answer, of course, is four. So they're using manipulative so that when they're counting, they're actually seeing the amount um, there for them, and they're counting backwards again because we are subtracting or taking away. Now another way you could do this is since we're starting with six, you could have them start with six manipulatives. So I'm going to use um, the mini erasers for this one. And when, uh, with touch point math, when you see a ring around the circle, that means to count to do two times. So they would touch it two times. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna put two manipulatives on for each one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're so starting now that with I have six. six over here. I'm going to subtract two by counting backwards, but I'm also going to take two away from this six because remember, subtraction is taking away. That's what we're teaching the children. Um, so we're going to say six, five, four, and now our answer is four. 
Um, so let's do another one just to kind of show you that again. So what the kids would do, and of course, there are lots of cards here for the kids to use. And then there are lots of these cards as well. So let's take the next card. So um, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bananas. So we're going to have to find a card that starts with nine. Here we go. And then we need to subtract seven. So we're going to find a card with seven. So this one is a little bit more difficult because you've got some of your touch points that actually have two on them. All right, so let's try this. So we have nine. Now, if we were just using our fingers, we would do it like this. Say nine, and we're gonna count back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So my answer is two. And remember, when it has the double circle, then we touch it twice. So our answer is two. And I'm gonna look through my cards here really quick to find my answer. And it's right here. Okay, now, if we were gonna use our manipulatives, we could, since we know we're starting with nine, we're gonna count back seven. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And my answer is two. Or for kids who really need it, and they need to count out the nine as well, you could have them use their erasers, and this time I'm going to use some smiley faces. Okay, so we're going to put them on the nine, so we're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're starting with nine bananas, taking away seven of them, so we're gonna count back. We started with nine, so we're going to go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And my answer is two. I have two left on my nine, so I have two. So that's how it works. That's how this activity center works. You can add little manipulatives to it to make it a little bit more fun. Um, but you don't have to and this really gives kids foundation in counting backwards to subtract as well as counting quantities and so and of course it's got the cute little zoo, zoo theme that I put on there all right I will leave a link below to this activity I'm excited to use this with my kiddos this week and I hope you will enjoy teaching touch point subtraction we'll see you next time guys bye